Well, good morning, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on October 3rd, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew. Starting out here with our sun today. Looking at 304 angstroms, able to see plasma filaments. We were looking at observing that large southeast filament yesterday, and as well, the incoming sunspot. There is another sunspot forming just northwest of it. Looking here at a different light, we're able to see the coronal holes that may be affecting us. But yeah, you can see some activity coming in just to the left side of that sunspot. You can see it flare up in the last couple frames there. So we'll be keeping an eye on that. This is the, pretty exciting, I am. And this is two sunspots in a week. Looking here in another different light, able to see the heliosphere and how it is being affected. I appreciate all of your love and support and continued viewership. Thank you all so much. I apologize that I was not able to do the Weird Weather Wednesday live stream last night. I had something weird going on with my eye, and it wouldn't stop. So I had to cancel the show. Again, I apologize. I know there's a lot of people that look forward to that. And here, there's this is another view of looking at our sun. And when we have sunspots, you're able to see on this map the sunspot and how they act and react with each other positive and a negative reacting right there and watching the last few frames for that second sunspot to form we'll definitely be keeping an eye on that the next few days let's get to earthquakes here this is the last 24 hours riddled 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 now this is pretty busy for the last 24 hours. Most recent here, a 5.5 at Bupura, Indonesia. There's been a lot of earthquakes there recently. Boy, oh boy. Tons of volcanic activity around the world too. Right now there are 73 actively erupting and alert volcanoes right now. 5.1 going off last night in Greece. And the strange, I don't know where it came from, but there were reports yesterday of a 9.0 in Africa. Turned out to be false. Looking here, South Sandwich Islands, 5.1, 10 kilometer depth. South America still rocking. Argentina and Peru. Pretty quiet North America and Alaska right now. West side of the Ring of Fire is, seems to be seeing all of the action. Japan, Mariana's Trench, many earthquakes in Japan. And then up into Kamchatka, where we did have Shevelich, who erupted quite a plume of ash. Let's look at the last seven days for earthquakes from around the world. Getting a quick update. Deep earthquake movement has kind of calmed down. No space weather affecting us. But yeah, yesterday a 9.0 was reported in Africa. I didn't even see any reports of it anywhere. So I don't know where they were getting this information from. But it was obviously false. I appreciate everybody watching today. Don't forget to hit that like button. You know, it's really important in the first hour of the viewing on the video. If you can get those likes up, 100 likes for the first 100 views, I'm telling you that video will get suggested everywhere. Thank you for watching. Overlooking here, the cloud tops over Shevelach and Kamchatka. As the large plume erupted 
October 1st. So this is the last two days of imagery, watching that large ash cloud spread across the Pacific Ocean. And then from NASA Worldview, able to see it here as well, that large brown tail of ash and smoke from Shevelish Volcano erupting on October 1st. Now there's something I wanted to show you here is a pretty sizable dust storm forming off of the coast of Africa here. Looks like it's pretty thick and there's a low pressure center in the center of it. So we're going to be keeping an eye on that the next few days. Let's get to Windy here showing a 10 day forecast for snow accumulation. So across the Rockies, we're seeing snow already. And through Alaska, they could be receiving up to 225 centimeters of snow, almost 300 in some regions. Kamchatka receiving a lot of snow as well. Russia, as we've been observing the last couple days, they've had a, about three winter storms already affecting them. United Kingdom, winter storms already affecting them as well. And then Greenland here, we could see some real sizable amounts of snow. 350, what was that? 340 centimeters of snow in some areas over the next few days. That large low pressure system is going to be spinning over this area. Let's get to windy.com here for wind overlooking the next seven days. Large low pressure system, Atlantic Ocean heading into Greenland. That's going to bring all of that snow. Watching another low pressure system form and head towards the United Kingdom. And then later in the week, watch for a wicked little storm here to form along the convergence line, southeast United States, and head into the Atlantic provinces of Canada. So this storm will be affecting you guys later in the week. I'll be keeping an eye on the trajectory of this storm. It's really hard to forecast weather these days. Let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by Media Worth, Media Mike overlooking North America and a roller coaster of temperatures for Alberta here really cold at night and warming up during the day watch for heavy rains and winds BC coastline and then yeah later in the week that storm to form and head to the Atlantic provinces and then this storm here Colorado low heading across the United States and up into Hudson Bay will bring a lot of extreme weather towards Ontario and northeastern United States. Gulf of Mexico, not much to talk about there. No tropical storms forming, no areas of interest. But watch through here, central United States and southeastern as that long convergence line brings a lot of rain and extreme weather. And across the United Kingdom and Ireland right now, Ireland receiving the weather effects of Hurricane Lorenzo. Now, Hurricane Lorenzo was a Category 5 hurricane in the Atlantic Ocean, the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, and has made it all the way to Ireland. Heavy winds and rain affecting them. United Kingdom, winter storm... Russia, winter storm. Very cool temperatures as well. Watch for this large low to my tag to join forces with a low pressure system coming out of Russia later in the week and then head towards the Aleutian Islands. And then Pacific Ocean, we want to watch for an area of interest here later in the week could be a sizable typhoon forming in the seven day forecast not showing anything here in the five but i think that there is something forming 
overlooking Asia and India. Monsoon rains, India drying off a little bit, which is good. There has been thousands of people displaced due to the floods and landslides overlooking the Atlantic. No tropical storms to talk about. South America, watch for heavy rains and extreme weather conditions through Paraguay and Bolivia. Thank you everybody for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. Don't forget to hit that like button. Much love to you all. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning dew. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.